Hello, Ballard County families. This is Tim Adams, Athletic Director for Ballard County Schools. I'd like to take just a few moments and attempt to answer some questions that may be out there concerning the state of athletics in Ballard County at this time. I'd like to begin by talking about what we know for sure. What we currently know for sure is that all our sports programs are allowed limited workouts during this time. These limitations are defined by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association as well as our governor's orders and these limitations are consistent across all school districts and all sports in the state of Kentucky. These limitations will remain intact and in place until August the 23rd. Not only do these limitations apply for our high school sports, they also apply for our middle school sports teams as well. On August the 20th, the Kentucky High School Athletic Association will reconvene and they will reevaluate their current plan and determine their next steps going forward. Next, I'd like to talk about what the KHSAA, as well as Ballard County Schools, hopes that those next steps will be. The hope is that on August the 24th, our fall sports teams will be able to begin official practice. This would include football, volleyball, middle school baseball, and middle school softball. During the first week, August 24th through the 28th, these teams will be allowed seven and a half hours of practice time. The second week, August the 31st, through September the 4th, they will be allowed full practice time at the discretion of their coaching staffs. The hope then would be that on September the 7th will be the beginning date of the current volleyball season as well as middle school baseball and softball. And on Friday, September the 11th would be the first allowed date for our football contest to begin. Once again, these are the hopes of the Kentucky High School Athletic Association as well as Ballard County Schools and we will get more information after the KHSAA meets on August the 20th. Next I'd like to talk about just a few items that we simply don't have the answer to at this time. These items consist of things related to event restrictions such as attendance, concession stands, as well as student athlete travel to and from our sporting events. We simply don't have the answers this time. However, the KHSAA is hoping to get us some information by August the 10th, and we will do our best to get you that information as well. Finally, I'd like to talk about just a couple items that will continue to happen, that have been occurring, and they will continue. And that's the safety protocols that are in place to protect our student athletes, our coaches, and in turn, our parents and our community. Prior to each workout, each athlete will have their temperature checked, we will also be filling out the COVID-19 checklist for each athlete and recording that, as well as the disinfecting and cleaning of equipment prior to the workouts, during the workouts, and after the workouts. We will also have on hand hand sanitizer and other cleaning supplies as needed at each workout. So once again, just want to remind you that our primary concern, first and foremost, is the safety and well-being of our student athletes, our parents, our coaches, and in turn, our community as a whole. As we close, I want to answer one question that I think may be out there and that is, will virtual learners be allowed to participate in athletics? And right now we don't have an official decision upon that. However, we hope to have one in the very near future. And I would just encourage you to remember that our Board of Education, our superintendent and our school administration have been very consistent throughout this entire process of providing the best opportunities possible for the student athletes in Ballard County and they will continue to do so. Also I want to remind you that hopefully Little League football will be on the horizon if um, all goes well and so if you are interested in Little League football that will be for third, fourth, fifth, or sixth grade young men please go to the Ballard Bomber Facebook page right now and you can sign your child up for Little League football. There will be more information coming on that and there will also be a strong push at the beginning of school for Little League football as well. However, if you want to sign up, you can go do that right now at the Ballard Bomber Facebook football page. Also, if you're interested in following our athletics programs during this upcoming school year, you can follow us on Twitter. Our handle on Twitter is at Ballard Bombers. Once again, that's at Ballard Bombers on Twitter, and you can keep up with the comings and goings of our athletics programs at the Ballard County School District. Just want to thank you for your time today, and I want to thank you as always for your continued support of our Ballard County sports programs. And I hope each of you have a blessed day. And if you need to contact me, please don't hesitate to do so. My, name, my contact information is tim.adams 
at ballard.kyschools.us, and I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you very much, and go Bombers.